Hey, what is up everybody? I'm back and um today I'm gonna do the video that I said I was gonna do yesterday. Uh I just didn't have enough time, that's why I did that quick little news video just to let you guys know what's up. <laughs> um Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm gonna sound exhausted in this commentary because I am it's been a long week. And uh Yeah, let's get into the video. So Almost after I got back from school today, I just sat back and watched some YouTube videos from some of my subscribe, some of the channels I'm subscribed to, and um, one video was from Broken Games HD, one of my favorite news channels out there. You know he's a pretty cool dude. You should probably check him out. But anyway, he made a video talking about. It was basically in question form. He was basically asking. Are these big YouTubers a problem in the gaming scene? Not just YouTube, but gaming, period. And uh, he had some pretty good points, which basically, in my opinion, basically sums up probably one half of the gaming community. Gaming. I put air quotes around that. Uh, this community that I'm talking about is called the hate community a community Not even community because they all because they all hate each other It's basically these legion of gamers air quotes um basically Having these YouTube channels out there and making videos that have nothing to do with gaming whatsoever uh, Now a few of the things that broken games said in his video one of the videos that they normally make are, of course, damage controlling videos. Basically, they're fanboys of a console or a company. And whenever something bad happens, they have to make a video explaining that it's really not that serious. And so, that is, that is pretty true. There is a good bit of YouTubers out there who make videos like that. Uh, I'm not going to really mention them in this video. I am going to let you know that I might call out a few YouTubers, but um, I don't want this to start any like beef. I'm not doing this for attention. This is just what I've been watching. This is just this, some stuff I've been watching. I really don't even care. I mean, if they see this video and... They, I mean, if they see this video, they see this video. I really don't even care anymore. I mean, if they want to start something, fine. I ain't scared. I ain't... I, I, I'm I'm not scared of them, but you know, whatever it is, what it is. So anyway, um, moving on, the other pair of video, the other pair group of people that he was talking about were the people who make videos. This is this is what I'm. This is what I was. This is like wow. This is exactly what I want my video to be about. Where basically it was either about gaming politics, and most importantly them bashing other people mainly other youtubers whether they be bigger or smaller and mostly the people who are bashing these youtubers are smaller channels and trust me i've seen a good bit of it i've seen a lot and lots of, of videos of youtubers smaller youtubers not even barely above 5k subs basically bashing anyone Bigger than them, smaller than them, or in the, like the same region. Mostly bigger or in the same area, same league as they are. And they claim they're gaming channels, but when really, you go on half of their videos, and they're not even talking about gaming. Like things that are happening in the community, things like future video games are coming out that they're excited for game reviews game walkthroughs let's play stuff like that nothing none of that's on them. it's either them going after a group of people like fanboys or and or going other another person two of these youtubers that i know who make these type of videos and yes i'm gonna call them out uh RXL209, of course, and uh, Arbiter365. Now, RXL209, basically, he rarely calls out other people, unless your name is Dr. Trey, of course. But um, he he makes these videos going after fanboys. 
Now, I don't like fanboys at all, but Hunter killer drone deployed. I mean, I came to see you talk about gaming related stuff. Like, I don't know, gaming news, games you're excited for, game reviews, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Not not you talking about fanboys or another person. I don't care about them. I want to know what you think of, you know, the games or whatever, or console, whatever, whatever game related. And, um, of course, he has to go after the casuals and the dude bros and all that other good stuff. Like, really, man? I mean, look. What's wrong with casuals? I mean, I, I don't consider myself a casual gamer. I don't consider myself a hardcore gamer either. Because, you know, I can easily play a game other than Call of Duty like what you're seeing on the screen right now. But, I don't know why he cares so much about that. I mean, that's half of his videos now. Like, if you go to his YouTube channel and look up, you know, his recent videos, all of them are about casual gamers and how much they're a disease to gaming, when really, he's really a disease to gaming. He's part of a community that I believe is a disease of gaming, and that's the hate community. And I don't care how many facts and stuff, I don't care how many facts, whether they're real or not. You're spreading hate. And as long as that happens, people are going to hate on people. People are going to, I mean, it's its stupid. And you guys are arguing over the stupidest stuff. And in terms of Arbiter, he's basically the same. Uh, I think he's kind of toned it down a little bit. I think really the last video, besides Dumars, I'll get to that in the late get to that later but besides Dumars I think the only person he was really called out lately was PewDiePie and as you know I kinda did a response video to this um PewDiePie of course the biggest YouTuber ever 28 million I haven't really checked I don't watch that man I actually don't care too much for PewDiePie and um of course Arbiter had to say something about him because obviously he thinks he sucks, which that's cool. That's his opinion. He basically said all the reasons why he sucked, and honestly, I agreed with him. And um, you know, because I mean, I think he is kind of not tolerable. I, I can't really find. I can't. He's not tolerable. I can't really tolerate him. Watching him, the one thing I really can't tolerate about him is his fans. Oh God, his fan base is so wonky. It's interesting. It'll make you think. But anyway, that we're not talking about PewDiePie. Um, I just believe that that video right there shows. It just easily shows why Arbiter is where he is now with 6,000 subs. He's probably happy with that. But to be honest, I think, I personally think, that he he does look like a pretty smart guy I mean he looks like a pretty chill dude as well but I personally think if he were to stop making these biased Sony fanboy videos and these videos bashing other people or bashing another group of people he would easily be higher in subs right now I'm not subscribed to him cuz I just I just know him because other people that I know know him, and they don't like him either. But this he has potential to become big. I mean, same thing with RXL, but they're not going to become that because they're going to keep bashing other people. They're going to be bashing casual gamers, other YouTubers, um, fanboys, what, what have it. But, you know, that's, that is what it is. That's, if they want to do that, that's fine. Uh, another, oh yeah, the Dumars, with Arbiter and Dumars, I, if you follow me on Twitter, you know what happened, um, obviously I tweeted, um, both of them out, calling them a bunch of crybabies and a bunch of retards, cause you know, they're having this cute little beef, and, uh, they're, and um, they both tweeted back, just talking crap to each other, and I laughed, and cause it, cause, um, Dumars was like, you're going to show another video of fake accounts exposing me. And I just simply replied, you two are exposing yourselves. You guys are exposing yourselves. You're exposing that you guys 
don't care about the gaming scene you're exposing yourself saying that you don't care about gaming at all you just want to make people mad and hate each other that's basically what it is that's YouTube that's what this community is it's pretty sad and unfortunately I almost got dragged into it due to all the videos I've seen by Arbiter all the videos I've seen by RXL I almost got dragged into it but you know I realized something and Broken Games said this too and I realized something if you're a gaming channel stick to your guns if you want to talk about gaming talk about gaming and keep it at that I mean look I know T Martin Ali A PewDiePie uh, give me another one Toby people like that I know they're probably not the best YouTubers on the site, but I give them respect for keeping it real, keeping it about gaming and not about bashing other people, making fun of other people. I respect them for that. And there's a bunch of better YouTubers out there, like, you know, I'm going to call them out to you. Modern War Negro, you know, that man is cool. Uh, well, God, what's, what's the guy who's in this podcast? Uh, UTXJG the Don, he actually kind of inspired me to make this video about the hate community. He's cool, he keeps it real, he keeps it about gaming. I mean, he, he might have one or few videos talking about fanboys, but whatever. Uh, you know, ah, shoot, what's another one? What's another one? You know, there's a lot at the top of my head, and most of these are black. Let me give a white one. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Um, the Rad Brad, yes. There we go. Yes, he he also keeps it gaming. He he doesn't he doesn't you rarely find a video of him bashing other people. I mean, yeah, these are real gaming YouTube channels that keep it about gaming, and that's it. Just keep it about gaming out there. That's what I'm that's what I'm gonna do these net for from now until the end of time and all that other good stuff so yeah that's it about this video um so you know if you like this video hit that thumbs up uh comment comment or whatever <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already if you want a beta test let me know hit me up on twitter at my new twitter account please and yeah that's about it so yeah i'll catch you guys on the flip see you